special Wombat pre-show dark match with a 10 minute time limit. To my left, Rim Tickler. Yeah! Yeah! And to my right, JJ Garrett. Ten minutes, right? Where's the belt? Come on, man. Right How long do you right. take that? Right. No, you don't. Okay. The referee calls for the bell. We're underway. Yeah. Heel trying to establish who is the face and who is the heel here. It was the last time we were here for Wombat, JJ really showed his stuff. He got beat up, but he really showed his stuff. He, he showed that he really wants to make it happen. He got notice of a lot of people. And look at this ferocity. Opponent number one just cinching in that headlock. Opponent two in danger of tapping out from the side headlock. Which one's Kip Winger? He's the one in the headlock. Kip Winger. J JJ's the one with the long pants. AJ, AJ with the long pants JJ. and that mullet in training. JJ. JJ. Yeah. I really wanted to grow a mullet for this show. Just like I had back in the 80s. It would be a, a good thing. Mullets are the shit. People love them here in Tullahoma. That's how you do it. This, this is wrestling. You want to be up on it like this, yeah. Just so your voice is going right into it. This, is this ever going to be seen? This one. No. We're just fucking around right now, but just to get us. Can you hear us? You can't hear us. You'll have headset on. Oh, okay. Can you hear us? Hey, look, dude. If you got to pee, let us know. We will get the ladder. You do not pee off the edge. You know, you know, camera guys up here with no ladder. Joey, camera guys up here above us with no ladder to get down. So if he's got to pee, we're in trouble. We had to, we had to hurl him up. JJ has the fire of a young Tito, Tito Santana. Okay, I stopped looking for about two minutes. The last time I was looking, he had him in a headlock, and now he's got him again, dude. What did I miss? Well, you missed everything, and you missed nothing all at the same time. De desperately trying to reach that rope, asking the ref to guide him to it. I don't think that's proper Wombat protocol, even in a dark. You know, Dwindle, I know you have a personal relationship with a lot of these Wombat wrestlers, and I know your uh, family has been involved in revolutionizing the fanny pack industry. What is in JJ's fanny pack? I've never asked to look inside. Whoa! The thing that gets me is JJ is one of the few guys that actually wears his fanny pack while he wrestles. Most of them Correct. take it off. A lot of people use it as entrance gear. Yes, that's true. That's what my, I, I know one guy very well that used to do that when he was on the Indies. Absolutely. Well, that's the thing, Dwindle, traveling up and down these roads through this region. You're getting to experience the finest wrestling in the world here in Tullahoma. Oh, this is awesome, man. This is like the epicenter of it all. This is probably where, I, I imagine there are like secret cameras around watching everything. Oh, yeah. The world is definitely watching. Look at that. Referee may have to step in here and stop this one. See, I know JJ. I've been around and I've seen JJ a few times. He's actually impressed me once. I can't remember the other guy's name though. Rim Tinkler. Rim, Rim Tinkler. Rim, Rim Tinkler. Tickler or Tink? Tinkler. Tinkler. Not Tickler. No. He's not tickling the rim. No. Come on, that, that would be something different. Okay. Making sure. It's Rim tick Tinkler, not Tickler. 
Rim Tinkler. He's not wow. tickling the rim. He's Rim Tinkler. He's tinkling on the rim. Rim Tinkler, very susceptible to that side headlock. He, so he's not tickling the rim, he's tinkling on the rim. I used to get on to my sons for tinkling on the rim. And that's the thing, because you know how to raise them right, Papa Stunt. I don't want to speak badly of, <laughs> of the Tinkler's parents here, or how he was raised. He came up in unique circumstances. Rip Tinkler! Rip Tinkler! What the hell? What the hell? Great moments in Wombat history. Hopefully someone has a fan cam running. Film this shit. I've never seen someone hold on to a headlock that long. Wow. Second time's the charm, Dwindle. Oh, wow. Look out, Dwindle. Look out. What the fuck? You're getting in the crowd, right? How is this not on the main show? Following up with a noogie. Look out. Oh shit. Papa Hill! Papa Hill! Wow. JJ almost hit that that barrier right there, man. He come out. You know, last time we were at Wombat, they broke that barrier. Yeah, I was here, brother. That was a night. We'll never forget that was the night Wombat returned to the world and now Wombat is back forever. Rim Tinkler in a whole heap of shit right now. Oh, JJ Garrett up on the top rope. Whoa. Oh, he came down hard. The ginger leap, but you know what was hard was the way he applied that standing side headlock. All that velocity from the top turnbuckle. That's it. Headlock off the top rope is a pinfall I'll tell you what, I in don't any think territory. I've seen, I don't think I've ever seen a referee hit the mat that hard either. <laughs> the ref's really into it. Here we go. You know what that means. I hope these guys realize that Tommy Rich is watching them right now. I haven't seen this many headlocks since 1985. More headlocks than the headlock graphic novel series, but I digress, Wendell. These guys might get a rematch on the main show. They should, if Brett's paying attention. Oh, shit. This could be a time limit draw, Dwindle. These guys are taking it to the fucking limit. They are. If he taps out on a headlock, I'm going to have to shout. I mean, it's just... But think of the headlock. It's wearing him down it, and all the ways he applied it. Wait a second. Tap. He's going to tap. He's going to tap. He's going to tap. He's going to tap. I don't, I don't know. I, I, surely he can make it two more seconds. He tapped out. No, he didn't tap out. about this.
Wow, I can't believe this. Brickster just announced that it's five more minutes. Hey. And he goes back to the headlock. Right back to the headlock. Man. Almost got him in a big like, predicament. It was like one fifth of a second late on the tap out before with the headlock. Absolutely. Well, to be fair, the rim tinkler knew he had just to hold on until that count, and the moment that count was up. There you go. That's a new way to apply a standing side headlock. No, no, no. But every hold has a counter, Dwindle, and every counter has a counter. Here we go. Yeah, you gotta love a GCW crowd, man. These guys just really get behind the talent. I mean, there's definitely some GCW fans here, but I, I feel like Wombat fans make up a huge portion. You think so? Well, Wombat originals. There's some second and third generation Wombat fans. Two minutes remain. My clip-on tie is choking me. Oh, what a chop! The Rim Tinkler knows how to chop! Rim Tinkler locks in that standing side headlock on the second rope, high-risk territory, Joey Janela. I really think, you know, thinking about it, watching these guys do all these headlocks tonight, I really think, you know, the only thing holding Tony Deppin back from getting to the very top is that he doesn't do enough headlocks. Deppin has a lot of skills, but you know what? You may have, may have touched on something. If Tony Deppin could really learn to do a headlock properly like these two guys, he would make it to the top. <laughs> he could beat Bill Dundee. <laughs> <laughs> One minute, y'all. One minute on the special, we don't think anyone can hear us version of commentary. So if you end up hearing this, know that it was done under the auspices of we are checking the microphones only. Reversal after reversal, headlock after headlock. The seconds ticking away on the clock. These guys are exhausted. Rim Tinkler, that's his cranking arm too. 30 seconds remain. Rim Tinkler. Oh, he throws it. Oh, and what a. Wow, what a moonsault. There you go. This is it, guys. They're going down to the wire again. I can't believe it. Why? Rosie Bow, too. Oh, we got another draw. Ladies and gentlemen, the result of this contest is a time limit draw.